Did you just burp? Why'd you hold it in? Let your feelings out. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Vinyl Reckoning. My name is Matt. I'm Stacy. I did a different one. A fantastic one. Yeah, it's a good word, fantastic. Yeah. Where did we go this time on our record hunting adventures? We went to the Hunky Dory in... Hold the phone. Say what? We already went to Hunky Dory. I know, but... This one is in good old Durham. Durham, North Carolina, Hunky Dory. Their first original location, but our second location. So do the math. The, we went to the second one first, and we went to the first one second, and 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 that that that's where we went. Yeah, it's fun. It's located in a really kind of fun part of Durham. I wouldn't call it downtown Durham. But there's a lot of really cool, like, independently owned shops. Right. And it's kind of unassuming. Like, you don't notice it. It took us a second to find it. Yeah. I almost wanted a bigger sign. Yeah. Like, and even someone walked in, like, on accident. Yeah. Thinking it was something else. Yeah, and the guy at the counter was like, it happens all the, all the time. Yeah. So it's very, like, deceiving from the outside, almost. You know? Yeah. So what were your first impressions walking in? It was very open and refreshing. A lot of bar area and a lot of record area. You had your choice. It wasn't like you walked in and you're immediately like, ah, I'm overwhelmed and where to go. Mm -hmm. Want to go get a beer? You go to the right. Yeah. You want to look at records? You go to the left. Right. There's like a few stores we even go to, like right when you walk in, it's like, boom, records. It sort of felt like Hi-Fi Records. Hi-Fi Records, in our opinion, had a problem with feeling like more bar than record store. Hunky Dory felt perfect. It was yeah. a perfect balance right. of you can get a beer, browse records, browse records, then get a beer. The choice is yours. Right. They're hardwood floors. There's something about a hardwood mm -hmm. floor that just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Are we going to talk about like towards the back? You know, they have a little section back there. For tobacco use only. No. It's great. Yeah, it was great. So let's talk about the selection. Very similar to their second location, which is obvious. You know, they carry the same stuff. A lot more Radiohead at this, this one. I, I mm -hmm. think the owner really okay. likes Radiohead. That's cool. Hey. If, if that's okay, your I thing. I like some stuff. Real good mixture of new and used. Mm -hmm. Their used is always quality. Yeah. There's nothing in there that's like, why would this be in here? And it's, you know, right. overpriced. So I have a friend that I met years ago on these vinyl collective boards, the vinyl collective before it just went to crap. His name is Casey. If you've heard of Sparrow Sleeps, which is the you know pop punk and emo lullaby mm -hmm. um, remakes of songs. Very cool. He had a record label called Thunderbeard Records. Very small, had some good releases, very few, but quality releases. Right. And we walk in, I'm starting to look at like the new arrivals, what they're considering the grails, which is like 50 to $500. It really just depends. And I saw a record he released. Yeah. And it was a Hot Rod Circuit record, not really my jam, but I just thought that was funny. I'm then gallivanting, if you will. As you do. It's a good choice of words. Look at me go. And I see another release from Thunderbeard Records. Yeah. One Line Drawing. If you haven't checked out that record, it sells for like 20, 25 bucks right now on Discogs. I really liked how they had the listening stations yeah. throughout. Really good spots that you can hang out at. They don't want to get you in and out. They want you to hang out. They want people to get in there and sit and mingle. Very friendly in there. Everybody was cool and talking to everybody. They had a lot of seven inches and some quality ones, one I already had so I didn't get. But I thought their selection, even in seven inches, were like decent. I know a lot of people don't collect them. Right. They're mostly like trading cards to me. But I like looking through them, and if mm -hmm. it's something I like a lot, like I'll get it. Just it was... the fun continues in the basement. Right, and it had the coolest entrance into the basement area. There was like so much to look at, and it was so cool. Like watch your step though, because like you'll be like looking around. Smack your head. Oh. 
The basement filled mostly dollar records. Mm -hmm. There's some cool stuff there, but it was super comfortable. Yes. Right? It's clear they have shows down there. You know, a whole wall of like used dollar stuff. Just... Then on the other side is the equipment. Yeah, they do have equipment. A lot of used stuff. You definitely could build a setup with the things that they offer. Yeah, they have little tables with games on it and stuff. Like they want people to hang out there and I love that. Like I could have spent hours down there. Oh yeah, like imagine that place like bumping and like a bunch of people there and people are down there like playing games on the tables and sitting on the couches, drinking beers. More listening stations down there. Uh, you got your smelly sticks. Yeah, a bunch of incense that were really, that smelled really good. Well, what's your favorite thing about the basement? Rugs. I'll talk about rugs. They have rugs. Maybe some rugs. The Is good there... ones, they have rugs. No, she but... <laughs> It's rug time. No, we're going to talk about the rugs. Rug time. She um, loves herself a good rug. Man, I've never understood it. It's good. Who likes to walk on just hard floor? I think it's time for the four foot eight perspective. <laughs> if you've ever wondered what it's like to be four foot eight inside a record store, we got the Stacy Cam. Let's check it out. Stacy Cam! There's one thing I do want to mention. When I walked in, the employee that was working behind the counter, super nice. Yeah, friendliest guy ever. I ended up getting a beer and just like kind of having a conversation with him mm -hmm. about New Wave, which one day I'll understand, about not gatekeeping and how we used to be little boogers when we were teenagers. Did I bond with him? You're bonding here, aren't we? Y'all talked for a while. I got this really cool shirt. It's super comfortable and hand dyed. Uh, this Ooh. this was pretty expensive because it was hand dyed. So I didn't pick up a lot. Right? Yeah, mine is like a Nirvana smiley face. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you are a mean girl! So my first pickup, Jack Johnson in between dub. If you didn't think that Jack Johnson could get more relaxing, so now's good. your chance to check that out because yeah. it does. Remixes of, I think, the entire In Between Dreams album. It features Lee Scratch Perry, Scientist, Mad Professor, Nightmares on Wax, Dennis Bovel, bunch of different uh, dub artists, and I would re really recommend checking that out. So what was your one and only pickup? Um, so I was looking around in all the records and then 
obviously looking around the other side of the store because like I have to put my eyes on everything. Um, and I see this on the wall and I was like, hey babe, can you arrange that for me? Whatever. I saw the Lucy Dacus Historian. It's a five year anniversary, the alternate artwork cover. I'm a little sucker for anything Lucy Dacus does. And then this one kind of has like a special meaning because she has a song that references like in five years. I love alternate artwork and I think it's awesome, but there's no extra music on the anniversary pressing. That's true. We'll have to show the two different artworks. This okay. is beautiful. I love the artwork on it. Like the alternate, you know, it's really mm. fun. What are your final thoughts? My final thoughts are... How much do clothes cost in the Matrix? I love how friendly they are in there. I loved that you and that guy, like, you know, had such good conversations and, you know, totally bonded. And, you know, they're Maybe. just so friendly and personable. We even had, like, conversation with someone in the bar. Like, it was just nice. Like, you know, so I feel like it was fun to go and see their other store since we've been to their second one a million times. You know. For the first time, we went to the first location, but it was our second visit to Hunky Dory because they had two locations. Right. Also, math. Jesus. <laughs> we should also um, always remember to take care of yourself and each other. For Vinyl Reckoning, my name is Matt. Y'all be easy. Have a good night. Bye.